On this episode of Bullshit This Week, I'm going to be looking at a new version of something that made me unpopular as a child. No, not my personality. Rude. Yes, a long time ago, in a galaxy where incest is sort of okay, some things happened. These changed cinema forever and set me on a course for nerdy unpopularity, which I've only managed to sort of shake by branding myself as an introvert and randomly having a six-pack nearly. Look, be friends with me. But now there's a new Star Wars film on the horizon, and in the only conceivable overlap with Tom Daly, literally no one was surprised when they heard it was coming out. You see, Star Wars is a money-making franchise and has returned to our screens before. Yes, in 1999, George Lucas finally decided to give fans what they wanted, but at the last minute made the prequel trilogy instead. The outcome was a wobbling, accidental space farce starring David Tennant, an emo, Justin Bieber, your mum, and a clumsy, overly mechanical droid who said every line without any human emotion, seen here standing next to C-3PO. A lot of fans will never forgive George Lucas for the prequel trilogy. I certainly think he's an absolute... Guys, Kale here, and today's article is that George Lucas will be donating most of his $4 billion to charity. Good guy. A nice... He's a nice man. So what of The Force Awakens? Well, multiple trailers have been released, but the difficulty is in watching them objectively without getting caught up in the hype. Oh my god, it looks incredible! Because for many Star Wars fans, the mere fact that there's a new film is so exciting, any minor possible flaws can get brushed aside. It's like when I managed to talk to a girl. The fact that she's a girl is kind of enough, and I don't really notice anything else, often to my detriment. That said, even under scrutiny, the new trailer has filled fans with quite a bit of hope, because, well, it looks good? Yeah, I mean, it's got an army, and a woman I fancy, and a cool robot, so it, it must be good, right? Well, wait, no, wait, hang on, no, wait, wait. What else had an army, and a woman I fancy, and a cool robot? That's right! The issue is, trailers tend to make things look good no matter their actual quality. If you take the most exciting 40 seconds of anything over an hour long, add some special effects and some music, and it's going to look like it's worth £15 of your money. To prove this, I've decided to edit a trailer for an episode of televised planning permission slog Grand Designs, which if you don't know is about as exciting as getting a middle-aged man to watch you widen your driveway. Because that's what it is! Something to hold the earth back um, so that the gardens do not fall in on us. They never get out of the ground. Who wants to live in a submarine? Who wants to live in a house where you can never, where you can never surface for air? Were you surprised at being asked to give over a metre of your own garden? Yes. We have a program where there are more guys due to come in, especially once the windows go in to fill the plasterboards. 